Today we're looking at a NAX to CCS adapter from a company called Lens. There are a lot of not so great adapters out there that are cheap and flimsy. This one is quite hefty and strong, safety certified, and it's rated up to 500 volts and 500 amps. So we're going to use it to charge this Kona electric on this Tesla supercharger V3. Now, not all supercharger sites are available yet for use with other EVs, but this one is. So let's plug in and we'll show you how to charge your non-Tesla EV at a Tesla supercharger. So come this way. You have to kind of orient your car to where your port is because these cables are not very long, as you can see. So in the case of this Kona electric, it's right in the front on the driver's side. So we're gonna need both our J1772 and our CCS pins. So this adapter just slides in here like this. Push it in until you hear a click. So now that's engaged. And now we're gonna take the cable from the supercharger on this side and just push it until you hear a click, just like that. So then the next step, there is no plug-in charge for non-Tesla EVs just quite yet, but you have to get the Tesla app on your phone. You don't need to have a Tesla car to get the Tesla app, but you will need the app and an account. So come have a look at my phone here. So this is my Tesla app with my car at home. In the hamburger menu, we have charge your other EV right here. And it's gonna find our location and this is the supercharger we're at now, Vaughn, Ontario. We're going to select that charge here. I already have my payment information on file. We have our pricing. Now we have to select our post number. So let's have a look right here. This is 3D. So come look at my phone again. We scroll to 3D, start charging. And now it's going to basically detect if we have it connected or not. It says, yeah, it's telling us to connect an adapter. Charging. We've already done it, initializing. And I don't know if you can hear, but this car actually said charging started. So now let's have a look at my screen here again. Now we have our state of charge, charging rate, energy delivered. So you can, mod there's no screen, of course, on the supercharger posts. So you're basically watching all of your fees and your rates from your phone. So that's pretty cool. And then when the charging completes, uh, we should stop the charging from the app and then unclip the cable, put everything back together. There are release buttons on the adapter for both the cable and the adapter, and then basically close up the port and you're good to go. Uh, one thing to note though is that Tesla has kind of like a tiered pricing system for they're superchargers. Generally, Tesla cars get a better deal than non-Tesla cars, but honestly, um, the pricing is still competitive compared to other non-Tesla charging providers. So this has been a look at the Nax to CCS adapter from Lens. I really like this product. I've used it on several charging sessions now. There's been zero issues. It's worked every time. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.